Hi, this is James. Welcome along. As beginner backpackers, my wife and I, along with our Labrador Emma, went for our first wilderness backpacking trip this summer. We went for a five-day trip in Finnish Lapland, sleeping in the tent that we took with us. As anyone with an interest in backpacking will know, the price of equipment can be staggering, and the decisions needed on what to take can be pretty complex. After spending months on research and a lot of money on gear, I thought that I would summarise what we bought for the trip and how it performed out there. Today I'd like to talk to you about dog stuff. Our Emma's no longer the youngest and has had her share of health problems, including a cruciate ligament tear, so she wasn't carrying any of her own things. Um, there's no dog pack here and we carried all of her food and equipment in our own rucksacks. So let's get started. This, the biggest item, is her sleep system and this is the Roughwear Highland sleeping bag and mat. The two go together. Um, this is size large, which was great for a Labrador, worked perfectly. Um, this mat is, is great, it, it's, um, it actually fits inside the sleeping bag, but can be used just as a mat as well. Uh, as soon as we got to camp we could lay this down on the ground and she could rest comfortably on top if she wanted. Um, normally we got to camp, set up the tent, first thing put the sleeping bag and mat together and she was straight there. She loved it. Um, we were pretty dubious because she hates being wrapped in anything but being out in the cold, outdoors, wilderness, she needed comfort and comfort was here. This was great. Um, yeah, it may not be the, the, the lightest or smallest when you compare to items that are made for humans, but it is super hard wearing and that is really what you need. Um, along with the usability and comfort, which, as I've mentioned, was great. There's, yeah, not much that I can fault with it. The, the sleeping bag comes in this stuff sack, um, and I'll just quickly open it for you to show you what's inside, which is this sleeping bag which uh, zips open here and go inside and just leave it like this or zip up depending on how exhausted the dog is and how comfortable the dog is, whether they're going to try and escape or not. Uh, on the back you can see this is where the pad slots in. All goes together great. She slept between us in the tent which was prime position so <laughs> She probably got the best night's sleep. Next item is this. This we love. It's uh, again from Roughwear. It's the Trail Runner Bowl, um, made of fabric. It has this handy little loop, which you can just put on a carabiner on the outside of the rucksack. So if you don't come across a water source for a long time, then you can just quickly yeah, take it out, fill from a water bottle, and um, yeah, there you go, you can replenish your dog. Um, yeah, opens up pretty easily, although I'm making a slight meal of it, to a decent size. It's not huge, but hey, you don't need it to be. Um, sits on the ground, and pour water in, and can easily be licked up can also put your hand under to help the dog completely empty it because if you're using your own water you don't want to waste it uh, so you want every last drop to be licked up. Mistake we made first using it was that uh, we, we went on a hike, went up a steep incline, thought at the top okay Emma needs some water, 
took it out, put it on the ground, water in, drank it up, great we thought, then obviously curious with a new item, she picked it up and chucked it straight off the cliff, so had to go climbing down and recovered it and did a bit of extra work, but uh, we won't make that mistake again. So this was wonderful. I would say it won't hold water in the long term. I mean, we, we left some water overnight in here and the fabric got soaked. It's not intended to hold water for a long time. It's intended for you to put some water in and it to be yeah, licked straight up. So that's that. Um, there would be alternatives to this type. We have one, which is this, a silicon bowl, which just pops open like so, uh, and is really stable on the ground. There's no issues with water going through, but it is heavier, um, not as good quality, although I would say this was a freebie that came with the boot liner of, for our car. Um, and I'm sure there are better brands or models in a similar vein that would work very well. However, this super small, super light, super good quality, we're happy. So that's that. Next thing, just a, a food stroke treat pouch. Um, we separated all of the daily portions of food into bags and uh, just filled up as much as we could in a treat pouch to have on the outside of the rucksack at all times and be able to feed as and when throughout the day to motivate Emma to come with us, keep going, stay near, not chase all the wildlife. Um, although, as I'll come to in a moment, she couldn't do that anyway. Uh, so, yeah, this was from a local pet shop called Fresnup in Germany. It was pretty cheap, I think maybe seven euros. Uh, has a handy drawstring, so it can close up the top that uh, when it's on the outside of your backpack, it's not going to drop food everywhere. If you take your backpack off, you're not going to drop food. The one issue we've had with it was the initial hook which was absolutely rubbish. It, uh, I think it fell off within a minute, still in the car park when we went for a hike and um, we just put a carabiner through, clip it to the bag, great. Hard wearing, holds the stuff, big enough. There you go. That was all the stuff we bought as specially for the trip. Um, we used this which was great. This was uh, my old jogging lead for Emma when we used to go jogging together. It uh, had a, a belt um, which we didn't use but this end just clipped nice and easily onto the outside of the rucksack which could be on a waistband like so or on a carabiner to put less stress on that. Uh, has the flexi section so the dog's not pulling you everywhere if you're going over a yeah, tough, tough section and uh, she wants to go somewhere else, she's not going to pull you over. Uh, clips onto the collar. A little handle in case you need to tell her who's boss. Um, and yeah, this was wonderful. Uh, you could also, if needs be, clip around a tree or branch or such with this end to hold her still while you're putting the tent up and keep her from chasing wildlife, which is not appropriate in a national park. And uh, yeah, while well, you have a lead. So that's pretty much it. I will put all of these items in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.